To fasten the body to the structure, they will drill through the aluminum panels to the steel chassis tubing. Using just two attachment points in the front, two in the back, and four on each side. Each side of the three-wheeler features an exposed exhaust pipe. The technician mounts the oil tank in its brackets. Then he installs the front wheel on its hub assembly. The wire spokes and single wheel nut may resemble the style of Morgan's original three-wheelers, but they function as durable thoroughly up-to-date components. Now it's time for the steel roll hoops with their leather headrests. The rounded hood with its signature front cowl is the next component. This is the liner for the small trunk area just above the fuel tank. Here in the finishing department, a worker uses a rotary polisher to buff the surface of the car. The car is painted the famous racing green, once seen on all British cars competing in European sporting events. Given how many races the original three-wheelers won, it's no wonder this color is a popular choice.